right, let's hop right into this. Alright, the fundamentals um, of learning how to play by ear, okay? So first and foremost, we need to get through the mental blocks, the mental barriers, because a lot of times when people um, think about playing by ear, they think solely about the instrument. But playing by ear or learning to play by ear, it begins mentally. And honestly, it begins vocally. Case in point, how many of you all, and I would be, um, I don't think it would be wrong to say that the mass majority of people, you could, with some bit of accuracy, um, sing happy birthday. Um, you could sing the theme song, the Barney, um, for example. Uh, maybe a lame example, but you get where I'm going. The Oscar Mario Weenie song and the um, uh, Mr. Rogers. Any of these popular tunes, if the average person were to hear it, they can process that and they can vocally repeat it. It might not sound perfect. It may not be, you know, have perfect pitch and quality and all that good stuff. But with some bit of accuracy, you could repeat those tunes, Okay. All playing music by ear, piano specifically, you're just taking it one more step, okay? You hear something, you register it in your mind, you repeat it with your voice. Now you're just trying to match that same tune with whatever instrument you're playing, okay? Okay, I shouldn't have played a note because, you know, as a musician, it's going to stick in my head. But if I just started to, to sing, try not to sing that key I just played, I'm... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Now all I need to do, I know that sounded horrible. All I need to do is match that same tone with the keyboard. So the first note is, happy birthday. From a beginner perspective. Okay, that's not it. Happy birthday. Happy, it's getting close. And I still ended up <laughs> singing in the key. It's kind of hard to, to switch once you hit the key. Okay. So that's where I was. Okay. Happy birthday to you. So where's that next note? Happy birthday to Example, that is all that's happening when you're trying to pick out the key of a song. Okay, with that in mind, most songs now, not all songs, most songs, they start and they end on the key that that song is in. Okay? So while we're in the key of C, the one, of course, is C. Okay, most songs begin and end on the one. Okay? Let me throw this in there. Your best friend, if one is available, or if you're listening to a record, if you have one at your church, your best friend is the bass player. So what's throw, what throws a lot of um, beginner musicians off, you're listening for the wrong thing. Okay, so you're listening to a record, you got the bass man, the organist, the keys, the auxiliaries, the drums, and uh, the percussion. Then you got all the vocalists, all the choir, all this going on. And you're listening at the wrong thing. Although you can play chords on the bass, for the most part, the bass man is going to be playing one note. And he's going to always land on that one. He's going to start on the one. Or after the first verse, the chorus, he's going to land on that one. At the end of the song, he's going to land on that one. You need to put your ears, keep your sights on that bass man. Okay? Good example. I'm in the key of C. A song could start off here. Be playing that. That's a G major chord. So it'd be easy for you to think, okay, the song is in the key of G. But when that bass man drops, you 
know you're in the key of C. Be mindful of that, okay? Usually, the first note of the song, especially where the bass man hits, um, the note they land on after the first verse or first chorus, the end of the song, that's the key of the song that you're in, okay? And that one signifies it's a place of resolve. You all, not always, but you, you want to come back home. In the key of C, it wouldn't sound as pleasant, okay, if I end the whole song. So let's say I'm just playing a song. So I'm, I'm done, really? That's the three. Okay, see, the average ear, you don't have to be a gifted musician to know. Listen, that, that don't sound right. Something should come after that. Okay, so what about... The seven. Okay? So your ear automatically is telling you, I need to go someplace to get home. Alright? Okay? So anytime there's some tension or it feels like something is left out, you can almost guarantee you're not in the tonal center. You're not in the key of that song, okay? And I'm not going to get into too much depth on tonight because this really requires more than one short little lesson and these series, or well, this series was set up to be quick, okay? But if you do need more help, feel free um, to holler at me, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do, we're not getting into actually playing the whole song or applying the progressions. I'm just going to play, pull up a few examples, random on my laptop, on YouTube, and see can we just locate the key of the song, okay? Remembering those tips that I just mentioned to you. Now, you all will have to forgive me. I'm in um, the back room of my house, and my modem is way over on the other side, and this new Comcast I got, um, it sucks compared to what I had. So let's just play a few examples and we're looking for picking up the key of these songs, okay? Also, um, be mindful. Usually, um, the introductions of songs, the bass man is not playing. Now, this is a good practice, okay? So let the introduction play all the way through and listen for when the bass man drops. You won't always have a bass man, but that's a good thing to listen for. This is a good practice because once you get into a place where you're playing in service, it needs to be a split second. You need to have that key if you can. So let's just take a listen. This is How Great Is Our God um, by um, Bishop Morton in Full Gospel. Okay, quick introduction. Listen again. Getting ready to land on the one. Here we go. Go. Listen to that bottom note. Okay, did you catch it? On the one here. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. So where is that note? Mm -hmm. That's the one. trying to learn the song. You already know this. Okay, this is what you want to get to, beginners. Okay? Next example. Let's keep it moving. So that's what you want to do. You want to just be able to find the key and already know where they're going based on hearing the familiar progressions. Let's get this commercial here. Introduction. Let's see where it lands. Mm -hmm. That's the one. 
one, okay? Try it again. See, but they did not start on the one. Let's see. Bass man. knocks off half of you all musicians. I don't even want to, a lot of people hear that key. I don't even want to play it. Transpose button. I don't even think this keyboard has a transpose. I mean, I, I don't know how to transpose if I needed to. And that's a good practice. Let's, let's do it again. <laughs> We've established the key. That's the one. And you get to a place, you recognize the progressions. I've never played this song. They went from one, two, three, two, or four. I never knew to the six, seven, one.
repetitious, okay? The main thing I wanted you all to catch was that one. So you know what key you're in. And then they go back to the four here. Once you just get the basics of it, you see the, where the progression is going. As long as you're not clashing, I mean, you can do what you got to do. Okay? So I know this was um, fairly short. I'm just kind of sporadic going off the top of the head. But that's really all there is to it um, to start to learn how to play by ear. You just got to know what to listen for. Because I guarantee you, if you can sing Happy Birthday or any commonly known um, tune or commercial melody, melody sorry, you can do this stuff. You just got to know how to apply what you're hearing. All right, my good people. This will conclude um, the quick series. I think I did a total of, I don't know, six or seven lessons. Probably a good, I don't know, two hours of instruction. I hope it's been a blessing to you. Um, and I will continue to post stuff like I was normally doing, maybe not as frequent, on my YouTube channel and on this in this Facebook group. And if anyone needs any private instruction um, via online or if you're local um, give me a call I don't have a lot of free time but I, I will make time for dedicated believers who really want to honor the Lord with their gift want to do this thing the right way uh, want to be skillful but also be living something at the same time you know and I actually challenge and I encourage anyone I teach um, to get the whole thing you know keep the main thing the main thing and that is honoring Christ it's not all about what we can do, you know, how, how much skill we have is about who we're doing it for. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for participating, especially those who have been answering the questions and the feedback. God bless you and I pray that he keeps, keeps increasing you in your gift. We'll talk to you later.